a short introduction of the controller fun functions. So, controller settings, I click on that. Uh, okay, I'll start with the first setting, fast start. Uh, as you can probably understand, this setting is quite self-explanatory, which means when you enable it, go in back, uh, save it, it will allow you to start quite harshly, quite fast. So it will accelerate uh, from the, it will set in motion quite abrupt, I would say. Uh, I power it off, go back, save. Soft start is also self-explanatory. So once this function is on, uh, the throttle uh, will start quite smoothly and gently. So it will not, it's quite a good function actually, because it will prevent your, your rear tire or front tire if you got a front motor from a burnout and uh, it will not wear out your tires very soon so soft start can be adjusted as well as uh, fast start you can set the level and save that position so I'll power it on I'll power it off probably and save it Okay, over speed, on off. Uh, this relates to three speed, three speeds. So there is normally a three speed switch, which can be placed on the handlebars. So when that function is on, then uh, basically you have the opportunity to select the low speed. So I'm currently selecting the low speed. Let's say at uh, level twelve, and. Uh, sorry, this is the high speed. I'll, I'll set it. Speed ratio is the high speed actually. The maximum uh, level is 30, 30, but my recommendation is not to exceed it, uh, not to exceed the 12 position. Okay, and low speed ratio, of course, you can set up the desired level so it will be lower than the 100% speed. So the speed ratio relates to the third speed on on your uh, three speed three speed switch the low speed ratio relates to the first speed on your three speed switch and accordingly it will react differently it will have different speeds uh, depending on these parameters that you uh, select and save from this uh, menu which is called over speed on slash off okay so going back I save those settings it's sending the command uh, forward reverse uh, this is also quite understandable what it means positive and reverse but actually uh, on the controller there is also a connector that enables you to lead a switch on off switch to your handlebars for example and uh, you don't need to use you don't need to turn the reverse from the menu from the app menu because you have uh, an opportunity to do it by a switch I will save it controller settings uh, forward reverse manual cruise on off so again there is a switch on the handlebars and if this is on the switch will work so you will have an opportunity to have manual cruise on that manual cruise which means uh, it will remember the position of the throttle and you will not have to uh, hold the throttle at all times once you press the but manual cruise button it will remember the throttle position and the bike will go without you uh, holding the throttle Okay, uh, auto cruise is not used frequently because it basically when it's on, uh, it will just uh, after some period of time. I think it's eight seconds. Uh, it will when it's on, it will uh, remember the position of the throttle and will start to cruise on itself. Speed limit on or off very useful feature if especially when there is a legal speed limit. In a spe in specific country, so also can be set to a level from one to sixty, 
So let's say it's, I set it at 35 and once it's on uh, it will override the three speed switch. So basically this will uh, the this will be the only uh, the only maximum speed uh, achievable by twisting your throttle. Okay, reverse speed limit also restricts increases or decreases the maximum uh, speed when going backwards. Right, uh, let's set it at let's say uh, fifteen percent. Okay, EBS brake, and EBS brake is if the setting for the regen regenerative braking. I'll set it at six or seven, let's say. So basically, when you brake, the energy from your motor will charge your battery, and this is also useful when you want to prevent the worn out of your brake pads. Okay, battery current limit and phase current limit. Battery current limit I'll set to 75. This is the limitation uh, that controls the current output provided by your battery. And phase current limit is the amount of amps that controller provides to three phases of your brushless motor. So I will set both settings at 75 and 73 percent. Uh, and uh, please be advised that you always should use these two settings: uh, battery current limit and uh, phase current limit with limitation. For example, for a 1.5 kilowatt electric bike. Uh, these settings should not uh, exceed uh, battery current limit 88%. I'll set it at 85 to make it safer. And phase current limit for 1.5 kilowatt electric bike uh, should not exceed uh, 80%. And also please use these settings with uh, moderation as well as uh, use the electric bike with moderation, especially when you go too much uphill or if you uh, ride on a bike with heavy loads because obviously both your battery and BMS also the controller uh, can be damaged by overloading it starts with a small damage and then increases and increases and finally when you push it too far when you push the electric system to, to its limits it can have a damaging effect on the whole system. Uh, whole sensor phase angle. There are two uh, options in there. Uh, most electric bike motors, and not only electric bike motors, uh, modern ones, they have 120 uh, grade angle. But if your motor will not operate properly, you should select uh, 60. However, most of the time it will be 120. Echo mode basically speaks for itself. Self-explanatory, it will uh, adjust the controller to uh, economical settings, both current and speed. Uh, boost will provide you increased torque and also use this setting with, with moderation. Do not overuse it, do not misuse it. Uh, low voltage th threshold. Uh, this is relevant when you have a battery pack without a BMS or with BMS, it's uh, not a big difference. I mean, when you want to set a limit at which the controller will cut off. So basically, if you want to, bat uh, to prevent your battery from, dis from over discharge, uh, Let's say you have a uh, 48 volts battery, right? And the cutoff voltage should be 40 volts or 42 volts. So you set the setting at 42 volts, you save it, and even if your battery pack allows uh, the, the, um, the cells to be discharged at a lower uh, voltage, uh, this setting will prevent the battery over discharge. Okay, 
motor lock is quite an uh, interesting useful feature when it's on and when the controller is powered by the battery uh, it will not be possible to uh, move the bike to push the bike because the with direct drive motors it will have the locking function basically electromagnetic lock function because the controller will, will uh, lock the wheel by means of uh, electric magnets uh, stalling the phases against the uh, opposite magnets so it will provide a stalling effect so it will not be possible to uh, move the bike neither uh, forward uh, nor backwards and restore factory settings of course when you uh, press this uh, when you switch it on and save it will reset all the of these settings that I've gone through to factory defaults so I'm gonna not gonna do it right now because obviously I want to keep these settings saved okay uh, this was a short introduction uh, for the controller app and there is also a PDF manual which gives a little bit more insight, bit a little bit more detail uh, about the usage of this or that setting but I just have given you uh, quite a brief overview uh, for all the settings and what they mean how they can be used, how they can be increased or decreased or switched on, uh, switched off as well. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye bye.